What's going on guys, I'm here with some more UTSA Dynasty and this week we're taking on the Green Wave of Tulane in week 12, almost to the end of the season here in season 1, hopefully the first of many seasons here as we go now to some recruiting because a lot of people have been wanting to see some more recruiting, I haven't put any in any of the latest episodes, I don't know how many in a row, but there really hasn't been much going on because guys don't typically commit early in the season and basically I'm just looking at the same guys, but I'll show you guys some of the prospects I'm looking at right now, once again like I've said before, only have like three seniors on this team because it's a very young school or a very young team anyway because they only had one year of existence and so obviously what are the chances you have a bunch of football players already at your school they had to recruit a lot of freshmen I have a lot of sophomores on my team now so just trying to get guys that are going to overall improve this team I'm not sure how good the progression works in this game so I'm just hoping that my sophomores can progress into good players in the next season which will be season two in this series and we'll see how things go from there but we have two wins on the season right now we got Dominic Carter to commit after freshman Fred Arnold decided not to and go to Colorado. We get our backup plan, Dominique Carter. So now looking at this cornerback here, Kyle Nichols. He's got a soft commit right now. This other cornerback we were looking at is a soft commit for Arizona. And as far as running backs go, of course, we have Evans Okacha and David Glasgow. I want to see how those guys progress in the next season. But I also have some other options here. Anthony Banks I'm looking at, as well as Danny Moss. They both have pretty good attributes and would help with this offense. I think with a little bit more speed than Glasgow and Okacha have. But once again, I have to worry about the progression. So 2-8, and 0-6 oh in conference. Can we go out and get a victory against Tulane? Two bad Conference USA teams. Going at it this week is the headline on our main page, and so hopefully we'll go to three wins and Tulane can stay at two wins. And now on to the field we go as Tulane begins the game on offense. Their quarterback is Ryan Griffin, who gives a jet sweep to a wide receiver. He's going to go nowhere. Runs into linebacker Cody Rogers for a tackle for a loss. And so now third down and 12, Griffin in the pocket over the middle. Leads his receiver, and what an effort, but he can't make the catch. Would have been a great play for Wilson Van Hooser. And so as UTSA football, Eric sows a stretch play right side. Evans Okacha getting five yards on that carry as we hope to have a better offensive showing than we did last week against Southern Mississippi. Now we have second down and five. Souza in the pocket. He's going to find his man Brandon Freeman who gets open. is going to get the catch about the 48 yard line. Tackle short of the 50. So second down and nine. Souza wants to air it out. He's going to lead his receiver to the open spot and Kenny Harrison drops the pass. That one would have been at least a big first down. Perhaps a touchdown but instead it's third down and nine. Souza out of the shotgun. Pressure incoming. Heaves it deep on the left side and it's intercepted by Tulane. They're going to get the football now and they're going to be down at their own 27 yard line. So no points for UTSA on that drive. And it's now two-lane football out of the backfield to LeBeau, but he's going to go nowhere. Cody Rogers there again making a nice tackle. So third and ten. Griffin back in the pocket. He's going to go long right side now. Underthrown, picked off by Eric Brown. Nice play on the ball there on the underthrown pass. And that's going to be an interception. We'll take it to the 49-yard line. UTSA gets great field position as Eric Brown has set a school record for three interceptions in a season. Mind you, this is the second year of this football team's existence. And then Evans Okacha running backwards, and he fumbles the football, and they give it right back to Tulane. So Griffin once again back to throw. He's going to lead his man. This time Van Hooser makes the catch. and have to dive for this one to the 10-yard line he goes, tackled by Steven Kerfes. So a new set of downs inside of the red zone, and Griffin hands the ball off to Orleans Darkwo. He's going to go right up the gut and get a touchdown, and Tulane is on the board first in this game. 7 nothing. And so now UTSA back on offense. Already two turnovers in this game, wanting to have a better drive. Okacha out out of the backfield on the catch. Eight yards on a short little dump off pass and now second and short. So is a left side hands off to Okacha. Nate Shaw leading the way. Good blocking on the outside by Brandon Freeman. And there goes Okacha. Speeding past this two lane secondary. Okacha for Heisman. Tweet it out guys because Okacha just went the distance for his longest run of the season. It was very close. But it's a touchdown for UTSA. They tie the game up at seven with a big play. The biggest play of the season for them as uh, Okacha avenges that fumble that he had the previous possession. So with a tie game now. They're going to heave it deep again. It's a little bit underthrown and it's the same result. Intercepted by Johnston this time and once again UTSA turns over Tulane in the first quarter. Second and five. Souza's going to throw. Pressure off the edge is picked up and then he, the pressure is released once again and Souza gets sacked. And now it is third down and long out of the shotgun. Souza making an adjustment. Okacha's going to run a wheel route out of the backfield. Souza rolls out to his right now, throwing on the run to Brandon Freeman. And he's only going to get about five, six yards in this catch. And so Tulane's defense holds. Well, they would go three and out then. And UTSA would get the ball back early in the second quarter. As Souza on second and ten underneath to Kenny Harrison, who's going to make the catch. And some nice blocks get set up strategically right there. And that's going to be a first down. And so second and ten. Glasgow left side. Now it's his turn to run the ball. He's trying to bounce 
it outside. Now that's his best option. He does get about eight yards on the carry, so good job of turning nothing into something. Third and two. Okacha back in the game up the middle and just nothing there. Actually left side, and he gets about one yard, and so we're going to go for it, though. We got Glasgow, runs into a blocker, and then gets the first down just barely, so we do convert on the risky play. Third and ten, Souza. He's going to air it out deep right side. Perfect pass, and Freeman can't hang on off of his break. Perfect throw, and so we bring out the field goal kicker. Kick is up, and it is short, so no points on that drive. And Tulane holds yet again. Seven apiece still here midway through the second quarter. Griffin to throw, screen pass to Van Hooser. He picks up a couple of blocks and now is into UTSA territory and knocked out of bounds at about the 41-yard line. And now we want to bring the zone blitz. And Griffin back to throw. He wants to set up a screen pass, and it looked like a mid-screen to the receiver, and it's going to end up being a loss of 12 on the sack. So second and 22 now. How about another blitz? They do the same thing, and they hit Van Hooser this time, and he's pretty much their entire offense right now, it seems. As he gets a few yards back, he gets eight on the catch. So third and 14. Griffin now left side. Van Hooser again and we dive and miss him. Van Hooser left sideline touchdown to Lane. A one man wrecking crew for Tulane's offense. And now it's 14 to 7, 34 seconds to go in the first half as Tulane has the football. Wants to make another run at some points. Van Hooser over the middle, making every catch for Tulane. He's, they're targeting him. We're not stopping him. Maybe I have to double cover him a little bit more. So first and 10 again. Griffin going outside and he forced the pass. It's picked off by Steven Kerfis and UTSA ends the threat of another scoring drive for Tulane. Lane in the first half, so 14 to 7 as we go into the third quarter now. Souza, three wide receivers out, trying to spread out the defense a little bit, and Souza back in the pocket, heaves it deep left side, wide open. Brandon Freeman makes the catch, but he goes out of bounds after making the catch. It wasn't a perfect throw, but at least it was inbounds. A big play getting us close to the midfield now, and Okacha gets us into two lane territory with a nice eight yard carry. Second down and two. Okacha once again right up the gut, trying to find an open running lane. He gets the first down at least about a gain of three, and then on third and one, we'll give it to him once more. The workhorse, Evans Okacha, barely gets the first down, but it's good enough to move the chains. New set of downs, now Souza wants to air it out again. In the pocket, under pressure, and sack. Couldn't evade the pressure, and pretty good coverage. So second down and 18, now four wide out, spreading the field out again. Souza, cornerback, blitz coming, tries to go over the middle to Josiah Monroe, and it's incomplete. So third and 18, now needs to get a few yards at least to make us in, put us in field goal range, although we're already 0 for 1 on the day. But a free rusher off the right side, sacks Eric Souza was a loss of nine, and we punt the ball back to Tulane. Hand off to Orleans. Darquest shoves away one defender now, running through another. About a nine-yard gain, a very impressive nine-yard gain, making it third down and short. We're ready to bring the blitz. As Griffin hands the ball off up the middle at Kelly, and he is going to be hit hard, but he does pick up the first down. So good running by Robert Kelly now as he gets another handoff right up the gut, and he's untouched to the safeties as they converge, and he's tackled from behind. And once again, Tulane is threatening to put points on the board. Third and 11. Evans spreading the field out now. Trips left as Griffin's back to throw out of the shotgun. Deep left side. Almost intercepted by Eric Brown. Once again, he wanted Wilson Van Hooser. And so out comes the field goal unit. The kick is up. And it is short. Just short. A little bit better than the kick we had before. And so yet again, another defensive stand in this game by both teams. Actually, a lot of nice defensive stands. And drives up and dying after a couple of first downs. Then Souza's buying time for UTSA as he finds Evans Okacha coming to the right sideline. First down. And now they have man coverage on defense, we're going to run the ball to the left side on the stretch, but Okacha can't get a free lane, and Okacha with that carry though does break the school record for rushing yards in a season, so we're pretty much going to control every record in this record book for UTSA, and welcome to the episode, Cam Jones makes the catch for a first down, takes a hard hit, hangs on to the football, good play, and now Souza evades the pressure, now wants to take off, he's going to get the first down on more to the 25, to the 20, close to the 20 anyways, where he slides to the 22 yard line and now first and 10, Souza with a new set of downs, wide open, he has his man, Brandon Freeman, touchdown road runners, 14-14 here, three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, as we're all tied up again, and Griffin going deep to the left side, he finds someone other than Van Hooser, and it's a big first down to his receiver, Rush. Griffin throwing once again over the middle to Justin Shackelford for a big first down there inside the red zone again. Two nice pass plays on this drive, and now Orleans Darkwest shakes off a one defender, and it's going to be third and inches coming up. UTSA could hold them to a field goal. What will they do on third and inches? Griffin takes a snap, option left side, pitches it back, Darkwell hit hard by Cody Rogers behind the line of scrimmage, and they are going to have to kick a field goal. Rogers lights up Orleans Darkwa, and it's a three-point lead now for Tulane with one minute and five seconds to go. Kenny Harris 
Harrison out of the end zone takes the kickoff. He's going to go up to the 20 yard line. Now has some blocks on the left side. 30 to the 40 now and tackled out of bounds at the 45 46 yard line. Excellent field position now as Souza comes out. Two receivers out, twin tight ends, and Okacha. But he's going to go deep and overthrows Brandon Freeman. Would have been a huge play point on us in field goal range at least. Then Souza on third and ten. Now, how did Freeman get so wide open on the curl route? Blown coverage somewhere. Freeman running horizontal now, trying to run time off the clock. And inside of 30 seconds, Freeman with a touchdown. And what happened on that play for Tulane? There was no coverage. Nobody covered Brandon Freeman. Some miscommunication. Something happened. In there and it's 21 to 17 now. UTS in the driver's seat with only 20 seconds to go. Kelly up the middle, first down, but they have to air it out. They got to get a field goal to send this to overtime. First and 10, 18 seconds to go. Griffin in the pocket, thrown on the slant, and it's picked off by Eric Brown again. UTSA gets their third win on the day. Eric Brown sets a record for two interceptions in a game. Welcome to the UTSA record books again, Eric Brown. And Eric Souza in the victory formation takes a knee, and UTSA is victorious over the two-lane green wave, their third win on the season, their first year in Conference USA. And next up, guys, is the last game of the season. I would love to live stream this for you guys and go through the offseason and get to season two in a stream. So I'll probably announce that one when I want to do it, but it's against the UTEP Miners. Can we get four wins? We'll find out next time, guys. Guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.